Hey guys, it's me again with another round of Forza Horizon. And I guess you're pretty excited because, um, oh, just hang on, I have the, my PC still on here. Hey, okay, yeah, I guess you're, you're pretty excited because, um, well, it's only one day left until the guys who pre-ordered the game will get to play the game. So, I don't know. I don't think it's the last of my streams, but it is one of the last streams that's probably going to be interesting for most of you guys. So, um, without further, further ado, let's get into business. Yeah, because, well, I still have a lot of things to do. And, um, yeah... I mean, the game is still uh, still isn't out, so um, you still might have some questions. You can read my review if you are German, if you understand German. You will find it on gameswelt.de. Or, um, well, you can just uh, ask me some questions here. I mean, that's what this live stream is for, isn't it? And um, I will answer whatever question you get to me, whatever I can answer. You know, I'm, I'm not... Uh, uh, I'm um, not knowing everything, so um, doesn't matter. Whatever you come up with, I will try to answer it. I mean, I can do some research here in the game, even if I don't know. And uh, if you want to um, have me do a certain race or a certain race type, well, you're also invited to tell me, and then I'm going to race. Uh, anything you want, like rally or street race or cross country or whatever you want. And by the way, I uh, recommend watching the uh, new analysis by the Digital Foundry, which just came out today, where they show uh, the technical side of this game, which is pretty amazing. Um, since I use the 60 frames per second mode here, I didn't even realize that uh, in the 30 hertz mode you actually have uh, uh, real-time headlights. That's, that's awesome. I mean, which game does that? Aside from this one. So, let's do another chapter of World's Fastest Rentals. Probably, yeah, it already looks pretty fast. Another Ferrari. Ooh, okay. Ah, again, the same symptom. I start playing and I always go on the right-hand side. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's the German driver in me, which will never get uh, uh, used to driving on the, on the left-hand side. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Man, 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 I hope I can, I can buy some of these cars because they are super fast and they're great. To control, though normally most of the Ferraris, well, they they are like wild horses. You know, you you need some time to get them tamed. But this one is so far, it's really really great. Holy, look at that! Look at that acceleration! Look at those interiors! Oh, I'm I passed the. I passed my bend. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So I have to stay above 177 kilometers per hour. See, with the last, uh, um, with the last uh, uh, tasks I had here, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, with that acceleration, it's kind of easy to get to 177. 
You know, as long as I don't do a time jump when I reach 88, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, cornering. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, see? Okay, I got over it. Okay. Yeah, but cornering can be pretty tough here. With that speed, so, uh... Okay, let's see how long I need to get back. 30, 50, 60, 70. There we have it. Okay. So it's not that hard. Just as I said, this, this is a rocket ship, you know. It, it has... Oh, damn it. Oh, I have to go back here. It has an acceleration which is out of this world. Now still, I need to take care of the trees. Ah, that's why I have to rewind. Yeah, this is where... This is uh, the flip side of that high speed. Well, well, I don't need to go 300. I can go 200 and manage to get the curve. So, it's only one day. I guess uh, you are looking forward to playing it tomorrow. Or at least some of you. You might write in the, in the chat here what uh, you are going to do first. What's the first thing you're going to do? Are you going to listen to the soundtrack or explore the countryside or just go to town, whatever? There is. What's the first thing that you're going to do? Are you going, going to start with the story right away after the intro? Oh, look at that. Just one star? I'm going to retry that. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, uh, um... Just write me in the chat, what are you going to do tomorrow when you get the game and finish the intro? What is the first thing that you are going to do? I know people that actually um, just uh, listen to the soundtrack. They just uh, get into a, a car and then listen to the radio. Which is fine too. It's uh, <laughs> what a lot of people are doing when they get a new GTA. So, this time I need to be faster. Whoa. Oh, come on. I'm going to start over. I didn't lose control in this in this place last time. Why this time? Okay, concentration. Less talking, more driving. This thing accelerates like you won't believe. Turn right. So, let's see. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. You. Yeah, okay, so as long as, as I stay above 177, Calculate it should all be fine. Meters, turn right. Come on, come on, come on, get straight and accelerate. Yeah, barely made it, but I did. That was too close. Man, that is a curvy road, isn't it? Say above it. Yep. Why couldn't I do it that way in the first time, huh? I don't know.
Hard curve again. Yeah, it's actually not so uh, not so hard to lose control at those speeds. Come on. Still just one star? I can't believe it. Can do that even faster? Ah, uh, I guess so. Wait, let's see who's on the leaderboard. Oh, just one of my friends doing it so much faster. I can't believe it. Probably, I, I don't know. Did you see whether they, they, they count the rewinds? Okay, I'm going to try it once more, and I'm not going to rewind this time. This time, I can make it. Hey, XD Monkey, how's it going? This thing like you Looking forward to playing the game tomorrow, or or did you pre-order it? Did you not? Because otherwise, we will have to wait till second of October, which is not that long either. So this time, no rewinding, no rewinding. Instead, drive carefully. Yeah, as I said before, if you um, if you happen to know German, if you speak German or read German, then uh, take a look at my review on gameswelt.de. Okay, this is the critical part. Yeah. And uh, there you can read a full four-page review with everything, you know, it's it's in all detail. Oh, slowly, slowly. Th this was the part where I was rewinding. Okay, this time I passed it. So, you can also ask me a question in German if you if you like. You könnt mir auch die Fragen in Deutsch stellen. It's kind thing. Verstehe ich ja alles. But if you have any questions, uh, just type them in the chat, you know, just uh, ask me in the chat. I will look at the chat occasionally. And in the meantime, you can tell me what you are going to do first when you get the game. Your Xbox got taken away for a month. Oh, damn it. That's, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Who took it away? Your parents? I mean, you probably did something bad for when, you, when your Xbox is being taken away. <laughs> I'm not here to judge that. Well, still only one star, so obviously I'm just too bad at this thing. I don't know how you're going, how you're supposed to do it, but uh, well, one star is still done. It's still good enough. What happened? What did you what did you do that your Xbox Xbox got taken away? Didn't you do your homework? Probably you didn't do your chores, right? <laughs> this next client of mine is Danish. Apparently they heard about our adventure with the Swedish Koenigsegg and the Danes don't like to be out down on the road any more than they do on the football pitch. So, here's your next ride. You know how it works. Take the keys and go and have some fun. Yes, I do. I do yes, have so fun with these I'm very first, very fast cars. And look at that lighting. It's awesome. Hang on a second, why did it turn me on, on the right hand side? Did it, did it put me on the right hand side? I don't know. Uh, the really, really bad. Damn it, I must do better. 
More concentration, please. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that again. That is of no use. You didn't go to school. I mean, uh, I don't have to tell you how important school is, right? Ah, uh, but, well, who am I to blame? There were times when I didn't go to school either. I mean, for one or two days when I didn't feel like it. But, well, you shouldn't make it a habit, you know? It's, uh... Damn it. I'm not doing it right. I'm, not, I'm talking too much, obviously, to you guys. Yeah, but uh, you should go to school, it's important. Playing Xbox is not going to get you... to get you a job. I mean, even if you see me <laughs> earning money with it, it's uh, probably not the career that you want to pick. So, I advise you go to school and then you can also keep your, keep your Xbox. Yeah, but who am I to lecture you? You can do what you want. You can do whatever you like. Again. Again that place. Yeah, but I'm not stepping on the brakes either. It's my own fault. Yeah, I think uh, with the last task that, uh, that asked me to go above 177, I've just spoiled, you know. This track isn't made for high speeds all the time. And this car is also much harder to control than the Ferrari, which is so... Well, that's something special. Because <laughs> normally it's the Ferraris that are hard to control. Ah, oh, come on. Use the damn brake. I can't believe it. Okay, so I need to to I need to go through that speed trap. That's why I need to be fast. Okay, so let's see how far I can get back. Okay, now careful. So, now it's all straight. Now I can go. Three hundred twenty-four. Zembo or Koenigsegg? Denmark or Sweden? <laughs> Don't tell me. And Hi, Martin. Whatever you do. Call me soon hey, Sales Boom. Wie geht's? Alles klar? Hey, Martin Todorov. Why do I look like David Drayman? Do I look like that guy? I uh, nah. Do I? Hey, Karen Locke. Yeah, Forza Horizon comes out next week. That's uh, if you didn't pre-order it. When when you pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you can play it by tomorrow. No, the day after tomorrow, or is it tomorrow? No, it's it's the twenty eighth. So it's the day after tomorrow. So so it's only one day between now and uh, and the early release. Yeah, if you didn't pre-order the the Ultimate Edition, you will have to wait till second of October. That's right. Hey Sales, na? Was macht die Kunst? 
Hast du eigentlich die Ultimate Edition vorbestellt? Ah, not too bad. So while you're at it, uh, if you like what I'm doing here, please uh, give me a thumbs up or maybe a subscription. That would be great. I'd love that. Okay, let's see what's next in this chapter. Hey, Christopher Gala, how's it going? Thanks for joining this stream. Well, I didn't want to steal all her thunder, so I got the God of Fire instead. The God of Fire. 820 brake horsepower, track and street legal, and. I got some roads closed for you. Closed roads? For me alone? Isn't that nice? Oh, wow! Let's go. You, wow, you can't step on the gas with that one or, or it will lose control immediately. Holy shit, really. Ha. Look at that, I can't even do the first bend here without breaking. Let's see how fast I can, I can get this machine. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Whoa. <laughs> so, let's go on the highway. Now we will see how fast this machine will get. Okay, it's not so fast, but it has a heck of an acceleration. And there we have it, the next speed trap. Yeah, uh, yep. Jawohl. Now when clients come asking what we do, I've got the photographic evidence. Ah. Not all, all three stars, but it's okay. Better than the one star that I had with that other task. Ja, danke, Salesboom. Alles klar, musst du deinem Opa helfen? Das ist immer gut, immer den Verwandten helfen. Irgendwann bist du der Opa. Und dann willst du auch, dass dir geholfen wird. Finde ich gut. Yeah! So. That, uh, whether that's an Aston Martin? I think it was an Aston Martin, yeah. I think so. The, the, the logo set uh, was looking like one, wasn't it? It was with those wings. So, let's see what we have here. A Pag Pagani Zonda. A nice drive in the country, you know? But in something elegant, something an expensive. Italian rocket ship. Something Italian. So I got a Pagani's on the Cinque, one of only five in existence. And five. We've got our reputation to consider. Only five in existence, but only one window wiper. <laughs> Don't show them how Woo! Just look, look at that. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, you really have to be careful with those super fast cars. You can't just accelerate as you, as you like. You have to get a tiny bit on the on on the accelerator and then go full throttle. Otherwise, you lose control immediately. Yeah, but I, I think I lost too much uh, time already. I will I'll restart that. So, thinking, Your route is set. start slowly, get around the first bend, and now I accelerate. Uh, 
And I think I need to break early with this one. With this one. Whoa! Damn it! Oh. <laughs> That's not fair. I mean, there were were like cars on the street and the tram coming. I mean, how am I supposed to avoid that? Yeah, so, okay, that was my lesson. The lesson is don't use the tracks. Avoid the tracks. Okay, this time I have it. So, is there a certain question you have about the game? Is there anything you want to know? I'm off any NDA. There's no NDA anymore and no embargo, so I can answer about everything. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Or do you want me to do a certain kind of race? Then tell me in the chat. I will do it. Or do you want to see a certain car? See the interior of a certain car? I mean, well, I can't show you all the interiors because you need to buy cars. To, to get into Forza Vista, but uh, I will do what I can. So if you want to see anything spe uh, specific, just tell me in the chat. And, well, I'm happy when you give me a thumbs up or a subscription. That would be great. Ah, come on. Yeah, probably you're not going to do it anymore when you when you see me crashing like that. Yeah, that's why I always call myself a tree hugger, you know. Just love to hug trees with cars. Whew! This is where <laughs> the force feedback really kicks in. So we have it. This thing will give them all the relaxation they can handle. Come by for the next one. I've already got some ideas. Uh, you don't you don't have to give me any excuse or whatever no 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 i don't need an apology <laughs> i didn't take it bad <laughs> it's all okay so martin Todorov, you, you just just sit here and enjoy and enjoy what you're seeing as long as you don't call me names like animal names or whatever i i'm, I'm all fine with it <laughs> Yeah, the next thing in the chat, you racing pig. <laughs> racing pig, racing pig. Racing much faster than the stig. You all right? Good to see you. Now, this next one would have been the fastest production car in the world. What's that? If they made enough of them to qualify as a production car. The 2012 Hennessy Venom GT. Hand built for speed and performance. Handed over to you for the same reason. Okay, here we go. There's a speed trap on the south end. Again, a speed trap. Okay. So. Those super fast cars are really, really great. I want to buy one of those. Watch the track. And when it says break, you better break. Which I'm, of course, not going to do because I'm much better than that track line. No, I'm not, but I have to find an excuse for, re for rewinding. Ugh. Oh, is this the highway? I think it is. Which means... Oh, no, no, no. It has a roundabout, so it's not... After the roundabout, it's a straight run to the trap. Go, go, go. So about here. Okay, let's step on the gas. Yeah, but not when you're... I mean, the wet track is kind of... 
counterproductive for getting to real speeds when you want to change uh, the lane. I only have one kilometer to get on top speed. Let's see whether I can make it or not. But okay, it's already doing 300. <laughs> that should be easy. 350. That was the craziest thing I have ever seen. Ah, come on. Go away. The craziest wow. thing you've ever seen. I better catch my breath before the climb. Yeah, look at that. I mean, star. one star. No, 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 no. I'm going to do that again because aside from, from my misstep getting on the highway, I was doing not that bad, so... I can do that much faster. I, I guess you can get that thing up to 400 kilometers per hour or, or whatever. Or maybe 380. As long as you don't start stepping on the gas in the last moment. So... Okay. So, gotta be careful now. Not too fast, but fast Off enough to get to, to speed. Go, go, go. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, I'm already faster than before. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, not so much faster. I'm still only one star. Okay, I'm going to do that some other time. You can still pick chapters. Well, is there... Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, how do you feel about the game? Is it worth the money? It is definitely worth the money. So... Yeah, I mean, FN, yeah. Yeah, it really is. Um, I mean, there's only one thing that I really complain about. Uh, there's only two things I really complain about. That's the, that's the two things. First of all, I don't like driving on the left-hand side. I mean, uh, it's a racing game, so you have to take the, the, the whole track anyway. But it's, uh, for me as a German, it is hard, to, hard getting used to having uh, traffic, com traffic coming towards you. Uh, when you're on the right hand side and after we had uh, um, Forza Horizon in Australia this is the second time that we have traffic on the left hand side so that is I'm really fed up with that because I will never get used to that however that is only a small detail that I don't like the the, the other thing that uh, that is worse yeah uh, um, is that it I mean England is beautiful but it's not as spectacular as uh, um, as Australia is, or, may, or or the U.S. I mean, if you, I don't know if you played the very first Forza Horizon, but that U.S. Um, tracks uh, and and the countryside that was really really spectacular. Other than that, it's I think it's a major improvement in many things, especially since the whole game is now taking place online. I mean, um, I don't know how many people are online right now. A few. I mean, you can see them driving around here. There's those those gray dots. These are online players, and um, it's all. Oh, look at that! Here's a, a whole bunch of them driving, and this means that you will always find people to play with. You can go PvP now all the time. You don't have to wait for your friends to come online and stuff like that. And, and it's up to 72 players. And um, what I especially love is. Um, those um, uh, Forza on live challenges because that makes almost all people from one server come to one place and uh, try to do a challenge all together uh, working together and I really love that idea um, yeah so so I think uh, I mean I can ha I could have tiny nitpicks like where where's the where are the bucket challenges that we had last time and, and stuff like that but I really think it's worth the money, especially since in October there's uh, a track editor coming, which means that you can create your own races. And this is going to be so awesome. 
this game has about everything. I'm not. I'm not kidding you. This is um, except for the that it's not a super simulation. This game has everything. It has cross country racing and you can do street racing, day night, rain, snow, name it. It has everything and it looks gorgeous. So, I think that's a long answer, but you see that uh, that it really inspires me to play this game. It's 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 a great great game. And uh, if you want to compare, want me to compare it to other racing games, well, I think it's one of the best, if not the best, racing series when you see it continuously. What they did to advance. All I need is some more people in the streets being on the side, you know, because they they all look a little bit deserted, and maybe something like cops uh, uh, that that follow you when you when you drive too fast or whatever to make it a little to get a little density in there you know to, to to get a little excitement once you go through the streets, but other than that it has everything you can imagine. There's nothing that's missing here. Okay, uh, is there anything that you want me to race? Is there any kind of race that 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 you want me to show to you, or uh, should I look for another barn find or? Um, should I show you a certain car? Just tell me in the chat, I will do it, because, um, well, I give you the opportunity to. And um, uh, if nobody writes anything, then I'm, then I'm going to spin my little wheel of fortune and uh, pick something. So, is there anything you want to see? Just type it in the, in the chat and I will do it right away. No one having an idea? Well, then I'm going to... Uh, is the map too small? Well, um, it is... Uh, um, according to the devs, the map is the same size as uh, in Forza Horizon 3. But to me, it feels a little smaller. I don't know. It's it's. I don't know if it's the number of roads or whatever, or how the countryside is divided. It feels a little smaller. You have the feeling that I uh, see certain landmarks over and over again. But since we have four seasons, and the seasons really change a lot, not only visually but also how you drive. Uh, I think it's more than enough for now. But in the next console generation, whenever there's an Xbox 2, yeah, I would like to see a bigger area. It doesn't have to be, uh, to be as big as uh, like the crew, you know. I think that's even much too big because you barely get to see any people. But um, I wouldn't mind if it had like 1.5 to double the size of what it is now to, uh, in order to get more variety to, 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 to drive longer through the countryside and whatever. I mean, uh, uh, traveling from here to there is no problem. The more um, of those uh, travel signs you crash, uh, the the earlier you can go uh, uh, fast traveling through, through the countryside. So that's not a problem, but um, I, w I wouldn't mind if the, if the uh, map were like twice the size. That, that would be just great. But I don't complain too much. It's still enough. It's it's uh, a lot to do. I mean, when you look here over the map, you can go to really many places, and uh, uh, there's a lot of um, variety here. Um, it's okay. Shall you buy the normal edition or another one? Well, that depends on how much money you have. That depends on... Um, uh, what you like to to do? I mean, the normal edition is is good enough for a racing game, definitely. Um, I mean, I if you want more cars and whatever, then it's uh, it's probably a saving to to buy a another edition because then you get more DLC uh, in in a smaller price package. And the ultimate edition will have you uh, play earlier and and give you a VIP pass and stuff like that, which means that you will get free uh, homes and stuff. You, you can you, there's, there's homes here. There's like uh, uh, 
a castle and whatever we, okay you have to buy that but there, there's houses and whatever and you get some of them for free but uh, this is not really part of the racing so i get the middle pack is probably uh, i don't know how the edition is called but the 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 one that's uh, 90 that's 79 or or yeah i think it's it's 79 euro that should be way more than enough um yeah okay so let's uh spin a wheel and see what i do next okay barn find it says barn find okay so then i will see that i find another car another hidden car i think this one is the closest So let's go there. And it is safe to do so. In 100 meters, turn right. So, oh, well, um, by the way, there's a shift in the, um, the schedule or schedule, depending where you're coming from, um, with the uh, seasons. Um, this is the autumn season, but it's not going to continue with the autumn season, uh, as I thought. I, actually, I thought winter would be coming next and after that uh, uh, spring, but it's not this way. Actually, they, they changed... Um, the schedule for that the next which is coming up will be summer so if you um, if you uh, pre-ordered the game then um, you will be able to get in when when the summer starts and if you uh, buy the game uh, in the normal pack you know when it when it comes for the second of October you will start in the winter season However, you don't start on uh, with the online seasons right away. Anyway, did you have to do um, some uh, some story before that, which takes about five hours. So um, some of you might even just get in when it's when it when it becomes spring, when it gets spring. So when it turns into spring. So so so. Okay, here we are. Let's see where I where where I will find So As usual when I go for uh, a barn find, I will try to get to the highest point uh, to some very high point and then I will change over into the um drone mode because it's much easier to find a car with that just saying on it's much easier to find the darn barn using the drone which edition is it that i have here i have the ultimate edition which which contains everything um yeah so let's see oh there's a there is a board to smash oh look at that i think i never found it easier than this time then i never found it faster than this time because here we have the hidden barn which is not so hidden after all Doop. yeah we have it okay let's drive there
Just imagine somebody driving this expensive car over the countryside like that. Oh my god, my heart would bleed. <laughs> Good that it's just a game. But I, mean, I have to say, go, just going across country is so much fun in this game. What car is that? That's an MG. An MGB GT, in fact. It's a brilliant little sports car made right here in Britain, is what I'm saying. Are there any cars I like to cruise in slowly? Oh, actually, um, <laughs> I had a, a funny little event with a... Um, how's it called? Uh, uh, just, just hang on, I'll just look it up. Yes, it's, it's a very old car from BMW. Here we have it, the Isetta. It was so slow, even the race with it was so damn slow that I was almost like falling asleep while driving. <laughs> but uh, if you like to just cruise around slowly, you have a lot of opportunity to do so. And it's actually fun too. Though the most fun that I have is going cross country like in super speed. Uh, because if you just hit some hills right, you will fly over the, the countryside. It's so hilarious and it's so much fun at the same time. Yeah. So, okay, let's see what we'll do next. Spin the wheel. A seasonal event. Okay, let's see what the next seasonal event is that I have close by. <laughs> That's those red events. I'm here, and is there a season event close by? Here. Lakehurst Forest Trial, a dirt racing series, which would mean that I would change over to the controller for driving because it's much easier. For me, at least. Turn around. I've been disconnected from the server. I can't believe it. Because I'm all by myself now. Well, I'll try to reconnect. Just not right away. Ah, see, I'm automatically joining a session again. Okay, so I don't have to take care of that. One little bunny hop and uh, totally lose control. <laughs> In 400 meters, turn sharp right. Yeah, I'm going cross country here, it's shorter. So. Don't, don't see a darn thing. <laughs> In four hundred meters, turn left. Turn left. Your 
There we have it. Okay, change over to the controller because, well, I have, uh, I'm much better when I do the dirt races with a controller. Because it's always steering like back and forth and back and forth through the dirt. It's really, really hard to do. So, okay, uh, let's see whether I have something, get, well, whether I can get something s faster than the Stratos. Nope. No, I don't want to buy another Stratos. I have one. In original Sega Rally design. Sega Rally Championship. Was für ein Auto ich privat fahre? Ich ähm, fahre einen Peugeot 206 CC. 207, Entschuldigung. Also ein Cabrio. Ist leider keine Cabrio-Zeit mehr. Uh, he just asked me what kind of car I drive in real life, which is a Peugeot 207 CC, a nice little Capri uh, uh, convertible. Nice little convertible, that is, yeah. Whether I like first person driving, yeah, I really like it because I don't know, I got used to it when I first played Ridge Racer 20 years ago. And for some reason, I learned to do that so well that uh, I can do this much better than uh, f with a following camera. I don't know. I, I, I can drive with a follower camera, but um, I drive much better in first person. It also enhances the, the feeling for the speed, the, you know, the, the, uh, um, the feeling of rush, you know. Especially like that, when you don't see uh, anything of the car. I really like that. I love that. Talking of Sega Rally Championship, I, I uh, played the old Sega Rally on Sega Saturn. Uh, I played the whole game in this view. <laughs> Though most people played that in the follower camera. In the third person camera. Yeah, as I said, I can drive in this perspective too, but I don't know, it's like... Um, it's like everything happens so late. It's like it having a big lag. And uh, when I go first person, I really see... Uh, I really feel how the car is behaving. I mean, also, you don't drive a uh, uh, third person in real life, so um, it's not too hard to adapt to that. Yeah, well, see, dirt races are easy to do with a controller, at least for me. I'd probably be like third or fourth now when I used to the wheel. I don't know. I can do street races. I can handle street races with the wheel just fine, especially when it's uh, when it's a real simulation game or, or whatever. I, I do. I get much better times with the wheel. But uh, I mean, this is an arcade game after all. Oh, look at that. He just overtook me. Nope, I'm not going to let that happen. So, now I'm first. Now I'm coming in first. There we have it. Hi Josh, ob ich ein Traumauto hab? Whether I have a dream car? Oh well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are some cars that, that I really, really love. I mean, um, I learned to love the, the Peugeot brand. Ich mag überhaupt 
Peugeots jetzt in der jüngsten Zeit. Früher habe ich immer gesagt, äh, Gott schütze uns vor Nacht und Wind und Autos, die aus Frankreich sind. Aber es ist, denke ich, nicht mittlerweile nicht mehr. Yeah, there, there was a time when I when I really didn't like French cars, but it, it really changed. Except for Citroën, I will never like Citroën, I guess. But uh, I like the Peugeots, and uh, what I like even more is this car. I have it here. Just hang on. Hang on, I want to see my cars. Wait. Oh, here it is. So, this car here, the R7 Sportsback, has a convertible. Yeah, you can have that or an R uh, RS6. There are convertible versions of that, and this is about my dream car. I mean, it's it has the limousine feel, it's fast as heck, and it's a convertible. So this is exactly my, my thing. However, <laughs> A used one, having a hundred thousand kilometers on uh, on the wheel, you know, will still cost eighty thousand. So I, I don't know how much it is for real when you buy it new, but I guess it's like quarter a quarter million or whatever. So I will never be able to to afford that, unfortunately. So yeah, das if das wäre mein Traumauto, kostet gebraucht. Also das als das als uh, um, als Cabrio. Uh, und uh, kostet gebraucht immer noch 80.000 Euro. Wer weiß, was das Ding neu kostet, werde ich mir wahrscheinlich nie leisten können. Also gebraucht mit 100.000 Kilometern drauf. Uh, anyway. So, let's do the next race in this event chain. Which is here. How did I get the full game? Ah, this is the question which comes up again and again and again. Yeah, uh, it's simple as that. I review games for a living. Um, and uh, I write reviews and this is why I got the game early and uh, um, the NDA that came with this game um, said that I can stream even before I write the review as long as I don't give any kind of n numeral rating, which I didn't do. But now the NDA is gone and I can still stream. I think I hope that that answers your question. I, I write for several magazines, um, for several German magazines, for, for several outlets like Gameswelt and uh, uh, Gameswelt.de and Eurogamer.de and there was a time when I also wrote for, for some magazines. I have a few articles from a few years ago in the M Games and uh, GameStar and all that stuff, you know, and even worked for Chip for a certain while. So I am a freelance editor and I get booked to review games and this is how I get some games early. You have arrived at your destination. Boah, willst du mich neidisch machen oder was, Josh? <lacht> Alter, ich würde super gerne in, in, in dem Wagen fahren. Alter, damit ey, da würde ich ja echt, da würde ich mir die, die halbe Hand abpacken dafür. Uh, Josh said, uh, I may drive in, in his uh, Audi RS6. And I said, well, I, I give my left hand for, for doing that. Yeah. Because this really comes close to a dream car. Yeah, but uh, reviewing video games doesn't get you too much money. That's that's one thing that I can tell you. So it's not a dream job and you don't play all the time. Like qu uh, three quarters of the time is doing research and writing. So um, a lot of people say, well, that's a dream job. I'd like to do that. And I say, don't. Don't do it. You will not become rich. You won't have much time for for a lot of other things. And you will barely play in your free time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a rare occasion that I ever play something just for my own leisure.
Yeah. So, so just to, the question is still up. What are you going to do first when you get the game? I know that there, there are some people who will listen to the soundtrack first. You know, they, they will just get in some quiet corner and uh, and uh, turn on the radio stations and then listen to the soundtrack, which is pretty good this time around. I like it better than last time. And um, yeah, well, others will just. Um, Take a look at the countryside. They will drive around and explore before they do all the, all kinds of races. And others will just jump to the story. So, what is your approach? What is uh, the thing that you will do first when you get the game? Just tell me in the chat. And by the way, I'd be happy if you left me a thumbs up or a subscription because that helps a lot. And also, I mean, if you're generous, you can buy me a beer through uh, donating a little money on PayPal. There's a link below this video that you can just click. And that leads to PayPal, PayPal or to Patreon. And whatever you do, I'd be happy if you did leave me some, but you don't have to. It's, it's good enough if you leave me a thumbs up or a subscription. It's just if you are really generous, well, then you can show it by, by, by a donation. Speaking of not being rich. <laughs> well, maybe somebody can donate me the, the, the money for my dream car, right? Right? Huh? Uh, probably not. Sega Rally Championship, uh, championship, uh, championship. Ooh, that hurt. Damn it. No, 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 no. I need to do some slingshot action here to get back with them, to get back on second place at, at least. Mm. Or some progressive braking, which is hard with the Stratos. Stratos is not really... Um, doesn't have good brakes and it's not too stable. It's actually a drifting machine. So I sh uh, probably I should be drifting more, but I'm not used to doing that. I'm, I'm more of a clean driver than a drifter. Or at least I try to. Well, I wouldn't say it's a regular thing with me driving at all. You know, I'm no prof professional race driver. Which is why when I play simulation games, I always try to be as clean as possible. Okay, looks good. Uh, you don't see it here, but if you once you get your your own copy of the game, just look at the tessellation they did. It's really awesome. I mean, the the you have tire tracks in wet mud and in snow, and it looks awesome. I mean, it, it isn't like with uh, Sega Rally 3. Here we have Sega Rally again. In Sega Rally 3, uh, the um, um, the marks you would leave would also um, change the car's behavior when you drove through, which is not really the case here. It's only an optical thing, but I think it's gorgeous to, to look at. First place. Hi, Josh. Du habt derzeit ein RS7 bei euch, der... <laughs> Nur in Anführungsstrichen 74, ja, ich meine, das ist gut, 74.000 Kilometer ist, ist, ist gut, mein, mein äh, Peugeot hat gerade 100.000 über, überschritten und muss jetzt über den TÜV. 
Äh, und kostet 56.000. Ja, das, also das ist wirklich ein netter Preis, aber ich bin trotzdem weit von dem, was ich mir jemals leisten kann. Also da würde ich ja im Jahrzehnt würde ich halt daran abbezahlen, bevor ich, äh, bevor ich zu irgendwas käme. Super geil, dass du mir das sagst. <lacht> der, der Neid steigt weiterhin. <lacht> Aber äh, ja, das wird niemals in, in, meine, in, mein, in meine Möglichkeiten kommen. Ja, yeah, it's really nice when you're driving a car, car racing game and somebody offers you a car for, for a nice price. You know, you, your obvious dream car for a nice price and you still can't afford because you're just reviewing ahead, video you games, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, dreams can come true. But not for me. Yeah, so wait a second, it's down there, so let's go cross country then. Zip. Oh! Okay. You have arrived at your destination. Uh, kann ich machen, ja. Kann ich machen. Wenn ich das Rennen jetzt äh, fertig habe, dann kaufe ich, kaufe ich den ähm, RS6 2003. Mache ich. So, that's, uh, that is the last race of the series, I think. Then uh, the series is through. Let's get going. Oh wow. Just look at uh, the headlight. You can see how the cube map is changing. You know, by, by the reflections there, the, the cube map is changing all the time. Just look on, on, the, on the headlight on the right hand side. And there you see how the reflection changes, which is by changing cube maps. And there's always a transition you can see. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, because... Uh, uh, when you see the rest of the car, that's, uh, that's a screen space... Um, reflection which means it, it reflects everything that is on the screen which which you just see but um, the problem with screen space reflections is if something is looking another way you know if it if it turns another way you can't just uh, have it reflect what is in front of you and that's why they use uh, cube maps for that and cube maps are static they are like uh, cubes and, and on every uh, side of a cube there is a there's a picture and that's where the camera is is getting the picture from to to put the reflection on but uh, yeah you have to change them all the time if you change the environment the environment and this is what's happening here never saw it that clearly in front of my face Yeah, but funny enough, I do a little 3D graphics myself. Uh, there will be a game coming out that I made. I, I'm a little uh, uh, indie dev myself, but not uh, too much of a successful one. <laughs> I only do little uh, uh, cell phone games and stuff. So the next game that I am about to release is a pinball game for my football club. So it's themed, it's, it's branded with, uh, with that football club. Well, but that gives me some knowledge about 3D graphics. 
that others don't have, which gives me some advances in reviewing games. That's how I get to this job. Yeah, but, uh, well, <laughs> if I want to keep you entertained, I should be bracing better, that's for sure, <laughs> and not coming in fourth. Well, let's see whether I can change that. I yeah, looks like it. A little unfair driving. shutting ah oh, come on that was super close but I'm still second <laughs> good enough still on first place and it come in the overall rating third place Oh, there's a Forza Thon live. Entschuldige, ich will an dem Forza Thon noch teilnehmen, weil er ist ja nur alle Stunde und danach kaufe ich das Auto. Ich hoffe, das geht noch. Genau, weil das sind sieben Minuten und es kommt immer nur alle Stunde. Darum würde ich da gerne hinfahren. Und danach kaufe ich den Wagen. Obwohl, äh, so, so, obwohl ich könnte ja... Warte mal, ich verbinde das miteinander. Warte, warte, warte. Du wolltest den 2003er SS, äh, äh, RS6. Audi 2013er oder 2003er 2003er, ah ja, okay mm, der da ah ja, okay Ah, komm, mach hin. Come on, get going. Oh. Mm. <laughs> upgrade and tuning. Schnell mal ein Auto-Upgrade machen. I will do an Auto-Upgrade to the S1 class because that will make me manage more races I hope that's no problem that I upgraded up so um Ja, habe ich. Äh, kann ich dir gleich sagen. Äh, ich benutze Instagram jetzt nicht so, nicht so oft, deswegen kann ich, hab, ich weiß ich das nicht aus dem Kopf. Aber du kannst mich auch auf Facebook adden, falls du das hast. Ähm, da bin ich äh, Dennis Brown mit B-R-O-W-N, also und einem N. Also D-E-N-I-S und B-R-O-W-N. Und da kannst du mich... Äh, da kannst du mich adden. Okay. 
Das würde ich gerne annehmen. Also ansonsten musst du einen kurzen Moment warten, dann zeige ich dir, wer, wer ich auf Instagram bin. Oh, 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 So, so, probieren auf der Straße zu bleiben. Let's stay on the street. Alter, what's with this car? Ist ja krass, der, der, trotz der Empfehlung, also trotz der Bremsempfehlung ist er noch zu schnell hier irgendwie. Ich weiß nicht, ob die hier die, die Ideallinie falsch haben oder ob ich wirklich zu zögerlich bremse. Oder hat er wirklich so eine empfindliche Lenkung? Viel empfindlicher als der, als der 7er. This is uh, much more sensitive than the, the RS7. And I don't know why. It, feel, it doesn't feel quite the same. I hope it isn't because of the upgrade. really really twitchy yeah but you can use get used to everything you know I mean after all I'm driving like 240 <laughs> which I probably don't even do on the Autobahn <laughs> Auto ist einfach mal aufgetaucht. Sudden pop in of a car. Oh, was that all about? There's other drivers here. So let's take a look how this car looks like from the inside. If you're gonna hit this many speed traps, I might have to disable the camera flash or get you some eye protection. Okay, Brown. I've set your route to a New Horizon Seasonal Championship. So, just wait till that begins. So many people here that you can't even can't even get the live uh, uh, event into the crosshair. Forza Forza online, starting in five, four, 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 three, three, two, two one. one. Go! Round, Round one, one started. Ja, ja. Wie gesagt, ich ich sag dir gleich. Ich sag dir gleich, wie du mich auf Insta findest. Wow, wow, wow. 
Earn score at the danger sign. Driften hier. Ja, das ist ich. Jump over that little ramp. Pick up speed. Yeah. Round one complete. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Quick and easy. Next is drifting at the drift zone. So, let's get drifting. I have to stay inside the drift zone. Yeah, this is going to be easy too. I mean, we're so many people here. Round three, wherever that is at, and Aaron scored the danger sign. So, so it is once again a jump challenge. Here we go. That's where I jump. Jump! Whoops, sorry. That was not intentional. Uh, come on, return. I don't want to hear all your babbling. Come on. Just accidentally push a button and don't come back to the drifting and to the jumping. So. I just love those mass events. It's, uh, it gives those... Uh, whoa! Come on, get me out of here. Uh, it makes it all so dynamic, you know, and so, so vivid. And everybody works together and stuff. Turn around when it is safe to do so. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There's a sign there. Round three complete. Yeah. Congratulations. We completed it anyway, so. Here we go. That was fun. I think they, they could do more of those and maybe longer challenges. Because the idea is just great. I mean, everybody comes together and everybody does a challenge. Ja, alles klar, dann, dann schicke ich dir gleich mal über, über Xbox mal, also zeige ich dir gleich, wo, wo du mich findest. Wenn der Stream zu Ende ist allerdings, weil das muss ich ja nicht hier überall öffentlich machen. Ne? Ich, <lacht> reicht ja, wenn ich das eigentlich schon genannt habe und die meistens nicht verstanden haben. Hey, there is a new house. Croftdale Farm, you can buy that. Twenty thousand, yeah. I found this gorgeous little mountain retreat. A couple of acres of land, view of the river. <laughs> you probably prefer speed and noise, yeah. Yeah, it's sold already. Right. Up to you. I'm sold. Nice. We all need to get away sometimes, don't we? Ah, who's giving me a thumbs down there? Ah. For whatever reason, doesn't matter. Uh, would I like to set this? Yeah, for now, I, it can be my main home. Yeah. Everybody else, I'd be happy if you gave me a thumbs up, if you give me a like, or a subscription, or maybe buy me a beer through a PayPal donation. The link below the video will tell you everything. Uh, you just have to click there and they, they can donate something. Maybe I can buy my dream car then. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Uh, I'm happy if you just give me a thumbs up. That will be that will be enough. So let's uh, spin. Yeah, come back. I'm not Off, jeden Fall. Let's spin a results. wheel again. Think, man, oh, oh, or I don't need to. I I guess I have this new this new exhibition trail thing, a dirt racing series. And, and this will complete another series, so I'm going to do that. Now let's, but let's use the wheel at least on the way there. Ja, wenn man sich mal dran gewöhnt, dann geht's dann doch. Ja, yeah, you, you have to get used to that car, but once you do, it's, uh, it feels kind of good. I'm just hang on, I'm trying to... Ah, here we have it. And I got it. Smash that board. So foggy. Yeah, that's typical England, isn't it? <laughs> Fog everywhere. Uh, at least stereotypical. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, 
Hulk, come on. So close. Aber wer fährt denn auch bei 180 durch die Stadt? Turn right. Yep. Doing so. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm getting better and better with this car. I'm gonna manage to do some counter steering in high velocity. I mean, as long as the track is dry, it's uh, not that bad. Doesn't matter which car you have, except when it's a Ferrari. You know, those Ferraris, they're totally uncontrollable, at least some of them. It all change, changes with the weather conditions. This is why it's so great that this game has seasons, because the weather conditions change everything. Driving in the summer is like a blast, and as soon as you come into autumn or, or spring, you're gonna have a hard time doing the same race on the same track just because the, the tires are not having grip, you know, on, on the wet track. Here we go. Ach was. <laughs> hey, Saints Boom. Bist wieder da? Schön dich zu sehen. Oh, dann kann ich jetzt auch mal hier die, das Offroad-Ding mit dieser mit dem Auto sogar machen. Na, dann machen wir es mal mit dem RS6. Okay, let's do. The off-road challenge with the brand new R6 that I have here. Now, which doesn't have the 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 exhaust uh, machine that makes so much noise. <laughs> But it doesn't matter. It still feels feels kind of good once you get used to this car. Oops. much fun. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 I'm going to miss that one. Oh, 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 oh. And I missed it. I can't believe it. Even though I knew that it was coming up, I missed it. I have to get slower much earlier.
Here we go. Nice and slowly. Not with these brakes. Finish. Hey Sales, äh, nee, geht erstmal nicht, weil ähm, ich muss erstmal gleich losfahren, sobald meine Frau jetzt von der Arbeit nach Hause kommt und ich das Auto wieder nehmen kann, äh, muss ich mein Schlagzeug, was hier neben steht in Proberaum bringen <lacht> und deswegen äh, habe ich wahrscheinlich jetzt keine so, äh, so lange Zeit, deswegen ich werde jetzt auch schon bald den Stream beenden. Ja, yeah, das ist a... Uh, I'm about to finish the stream because I still have something to do. As soon as my wife comes home I have to drive my drum set into the, to the rehearsal room. And that's gonna take some time with that small car, I can tell you. <laughs> And I still want to do it while, I, while there's light outside. So uh, this is why I am going to Uh, stop the stream now and I hope you had fun with this uh, I might come back online later on maybe in a few hours maybe in three or four hours for the evening and I'd be happy to greet you again here to welcome you here and I hope you uh, can leave me a thumbs up or a subscription and uh, I hope you will have fun with this game in a few days no matter when you will buy it when you will get it so um, bye and see you next time